With our starred shape complete, let's discuss the core options of our end shape, the disconnector. Just like our start shape, the disconnector shape is the main component containing all the information needed to connect to a single directory. Like any connector, it is made up of two parts. The connection, or the where, which is the directory definition. And the operation, or the how, which is the get or send, and the file matching or naming definition. Looking at the disconnection component, we see a single field to configure. Directory. This is the directory path definition for reading or writing documents. The directory path is the file for the directory. Remember, the disk directory is always created on the disk where the atom resides. Here's how the logic works when you create the disk shape. The atom, which we've yet to discuss in detail, can reside in one or two places in the cloud or on premise. If it is in the cloud, the atom resides in a boomy cloud and does not need to be installed on your machine. If on premise, then you're going to need to install a local atom on your machine, which uses your physical hardware to run your processes. When you execute your process, the disconnector shape figures out whether the directory you noted in the directory field exists. If it does exist, it saves the documents to that directory. However, if it does not exist, it creates where the atom resides, either cloud or disk. And then it saves the documents to the newly created directory where the atom resides. You now understand your configuration options for your disk connection. So let's discuss your disk operation component options when configuring a write request. The first is create directory. This creates a directory on the server during the process execution if it doesn't exist. File naming options. If the file already exists, what do you want to do? Do you want to create a unique file, which will append a one or two at the end of it? Do you want to override it? Do you want to append to it? Do you want to error? What action do you want to complete? Now I'm going to show you how to set up your disconnector for our activity. And this is exercise number five, access the disk connection, and exercise number six, create a disk operation. Both of these are in your book on page 16 to 21. We're now going to do exercise number five to access the disk connection, and exercise number six to create the disk operation. Then click on the disk shape. The connector type is disk. The action is send. You do have two options here of get or send. We are writing to the disk, so we want to make sure it is send. The first thing we want to do for exercise number five is to access the disk connection. So we're going to click on the plus symbol to create a new disk connection. For the name window, we're going to enter work directory. We're going to change it from new disk connection to work directory. And the directory name itself is going to be called work. Now this is going to be lowercase. It is case and spelling sensitive. In your book on page 17, I would like to point out, step note, that's a checkbox. Uh, it says the files for our training exercises are written to the directory on the test atom cloud. The directory name is both case and spelling sensitive. So please make sure you type work in lowercase. I'm going to click on the save and close button. And we have completed exercise number five. We have accessed our disconnection. Moving on to exercise number six, we're going to come over here to the operation and we're going to select new. For the name, we're going to change the name to be write unique. Do we want to create a directory if it doesn't exist? We do, so we're going we're gonna to check the box. For our file naming options, we can create a unique name. If it, the file exists, it'll append a number to the end. We can override it 
we can append to it or we can error if the file exists. We're going to go with create unique name if file exists. And now we're going to click on the save and close button. I have created my work directory and my write unique operation. I'm going to click on OK. And they are displayed over here. Now, as we mentioned when we were in the FTP, it is best practice to store all of our connections in one pound sign connection folder. So what we're going to do is take our connection and we will put this into our pound sign connection folder. As we did with our FTP directory, what we're going to do is we're going to take this work directory connection and we're going to drop it up here in the pound sign connections folder. The way we do it, we'll place our cursor on top of work directory. The cursor will change. It will be a plus symbol with little arrows at each end. We will press our mouse down and then we will just drop and drag it up to pound sign connections. Once it goes yellow, we will release it. And now we have two connections up here, one for the work directory and one for the FTP. The last thing that we want to do is set this up so we will get our directories, we will get our fields from the FTP, and they will be written to our disk. Today, if we were to run it the way we have it set up right now, what will happen is it will get the records from the start shape but it will never place them on the disk. And the reason being is because we haven't told Atomsphere we wanna do that. So the way that we do it is we come over here and we place our cursor on top of the red arrow that is connected to the FTP shape, the start shape, and we drop and drag it over. We drag it over and we place it on top of the disk shape. And now it is a green arrow. So in the world of Atomsphere, you'll hear the saying that green is good, red is dead. If it's red, it's not connected to anything. If it's green, it's good, and it will flow from this shape to the next shape. So now our process is all set up to run. This concludes our video, but please complete both exercises before moving to the next video about the Dell Boomi Atom Cloud.